Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be starting a new series where I bring your guys' creations to life. Um, so if you draw out a map, I will build that map. We have a perfect example today by someone who did a very, very good one. I did forget their name, but if I find it, I'll put it like up on the screen or I'll say it in like a segment of the video. We'll figure it out, okay? But first things first, we're going to go to image and reference, okay? Because this is not a square base plate map okay so it, it's just not let me go to my desktop let me go ahead and grab the picture right here load a reference image so here it is guys okay this is what they drew for me i'll put this off to the side just in case anyone else wants to enter into this basically what's going to happen is if you guys draw out the map like this this one's actually perfect i could not ask for a better drawing um map layout wise or concept wise so thank you for that but if you draw the map i'm gonna go ahead and build it for a video and then if i get your permission i will ask if i can sell the map if i am able to sell the map i will give whoever drew the concept a percentage of that money that i sell the map for okay so i think i think that's probably the best way to do it because you came up with the concept i built it made all the models everything like that so first things first we got to delete mr senor cube all right and i think we're going to use a plane and then click uh control clicks around let me see if we could do that so shift a plane we need to rotate this guy and of course i don't know which way that is is this the uh, z-axis i think yes it is perfect i guess i should just press rz90 i mean rx90 my bad <laughs> So we got the plane right here. It's looking beautiful. Now I'm gonna do alt M and click at center That's gonna give us one point and we can hold G or press G I mean and grab this point and put it right here and then if we just control click as you can see the points are being made and i'm just gonna go all the way around this and then for the next zone aka the desert i'll be going all the way around it again uh but in the other zone making them all separate parts and then in studio if we need to resize we can so right now i'm just holding control and i'm doing a right click and that places another point down at the end of this or let me speed this up All right, so we finished the outline of the spawn itself. Check it out. If we take this image off, there we go. We're going to press A to select everything and then F, which is going to fill it in. And now we have our spawn plate. Uh, one of these sides will be invisible in studio. So we will add a solidify modifier to everything once we're done. But uh, I'm going to finish up this map, the uh, the spawn anyways, like the uh, the ground, I mean, <laughs> and then we'll be back. All right, guys, so I just finished mapping out like the actual map itself. Now I'm just adding a little modifier to everything called solidify, which is right here. And then I'm making these point 30. Uh, basically, you know, if I don't solidify. Oh, this is the whole the whole wrong way. OK, cool. Um, if I don't solidify, one side will be like a negative space. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. Just press A. Kind of select everything, go into edit mode, and if I go right here, face orientation, everything should be blue. But before I solidified, one of these sides would have been red and the other side would have been blue. This is just going to save us, uh, you know, save us some troubles. So here's the map. Let me go ahead and make these invisible right there. I just traced it, outlined it, whatever you want to say. And we're going to drag this stuff into studio and then we'll get on with probably we'll color these, texture them. And then we will start making the pathways, I think. And then after that, we'll go ahead and make the asset. All right, guys, we are in studio and I did just a bit of stuff and I'm gonna kind of run through it with you now. So you guys can kind of redo this yourself if you want to with a different sample map, if you wanna draw something and then build your map yourself. I definitely do recommend drawing it out beforehand because it just helps with layout and helps you stay on track with where you're trying to be. So. Uh, to sum this up, I know it looks a bit confusing. Right here is just a Roblox part. Okay, it's a circle or a cylinder. And I put it where this little spawn thing is. That's just the shape that matched it pretty well. This is an odd circle, but you know, drawing, you're not going to be perfect, which is all good. So, we have a cylinder there. I have this... Oh gosh, okay, let me turn off this plug-in real quick. I have this part with a decal on it. I decreased the part transparency so we can actually see. 
all right so i did that and then the decal is the map itself which is also a decreased transparency so i can see through it if you see this i can't see the map anymore so i just bring it like this and i can see my ground and then i just clicked on the part and scaled it to line it up with my pieces everything should fit pretty close to exact because you did trace the pieces in uh in blender there so this guy doesn't fit exactly where it's supposed to but it's close enough all right in fact i might need to scale it in just a bit let me see if that helps it out or scale it out yeah that's all it was guys scale it out and there we go now everything is spot on so now i'm gonna show you real quick how to make the paths because a lot of people have questioned me about that bro how are you making the paths or when i'm streaming they're like bro how are you doing that uh check it out first off i'm gonna pick my color i usually use linen and uh i'm gonna let's make this a little better to see all right something like that there we go and let's just make sure that this is the same size there we go something like this should work a little thicker nice now i'm gonna go to my plugins there's this one called archimedes and it's by scriptos so basically click on this change this angle to what you need uh just keep messing with it until you find what you want uh i do increments of five so check that out 15 15 now as you can see it's not as much so 10 and then you just you keep changing the angle and follow your path all right guys so i'm gonna do all that i'll probably just speed it up in this portion of the video uh and i'll try to get this spawn strip done Alright guys, so we just finished the path for the first area, check it out, we'll delete this part for a second. Here is the paths, and this is going to help us stay on track with how to judge the rest of the map. I'm going to do the paths for all the areas right now, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so paths are 100% done, let me drag this guy back up just a little bit so you can see what's going on. As you can see, they match very, very close to perfect. Now, since they were using a brush that's rounded usually, as you can see, the end of the paths round off, we need to go through and around off all of these paths except for this one here i think i'm gonna do a broken type thing through here and make this uh this right here i don't know really what they were going for so i think i'm gonna try to make that like uh like the big rib cage like the dinosaur rib cage or something i hope you know what i'm talking about but i think that's what i'm gonna try to do but other than that all of these paths need to get rounded off so let me show you guys how i plan to attack that mess okay we'll start with this guy right here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a little cylinder wow this is material chill out. this is color okay i need to go to sleep a cylinder right here guys i'm gonna turn this 90 degrees as such and then let me just grab it i didn't turn it all the way so just flatten it out with the ground uh make sure we get the same color i remember that this was linen so we're gonna match that up and now we're going to get the position of this part right here. Copy it with control C, paste it into the position of this part, control V, and now it's centered. Okay. So now all we got to do, scale this down. So it matches the same size. Hopefully that's right. And, uh, we probably should have rotated this, but you know, ah, I see. I see. Okay. We forgot to make the paths on the ground. I'll be right back. All right, guys, just like this, we just grouped up all the paths, put them up against the ground, and we're going to end off each path like this. Just copy the position of this part, put it into your cylinder, and then resize it to match up and scoot it forward, and it'll line up perfectly, guys. Let's go ahead and do this for the rest of the map. All right, guys, so I finished most of the paths, rounding them off, except for these ones, which I'm not going to round off, and I still have to do the ice zone as well, but check it out. We have the lava zone like this. We rounded off these two, and over here... We're going to make this guy appear broken, all right? Now, I think the best way for me to do this is going to be to use a wedge. And I'm going to flip it 90 like this and uh, flip it this way, kind of make it line up with this right here. Now, let's make this the same size, bring it over to it, and hope for the best, guys. So check this out. I think we're going to stretch this maybe like, like this way and then have another one that will come 
like this, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe like this? Boom! We can rotate this guy, I think, 180 degrees like that, and then 180 degrees like this. Give it kind of a broken look. We'll go past this, so it's adding, like, you know, just broken fragments, I guess. I don't really know, guys. I haven't made too, too many broken little paths, but I think this is the way that we're going to do it. We'll have this guy right here as well. So, check that out. Now we're going to grab this, copy the color, because I did use a specific color from the color picker here, instead of just a common color that everyone uses. Let me grab all of these, paste it in boom and if you check that out we have a broken path uh you're not lined up so i gotta fix that but other than that that's how we're gonna do the broken path all right guys so we are back all paths are 100 done and i'm looking at my asset pack here and i'm gonna go ahead and kind of kind of steal some of my pre-made trees and use those for this map so i'm gonna grab this guy this guy this guy and this guy so these four trees are looking like my prime candidates i'm gonna copy these and paste them into the new studio right there they are beautiful beautiful now this guy was very very detailed in the art you can tell okay this is supposed to be a pine tree this is a pine tree this is not um let me see this is so he was very very detailed where is the pine trees where is the normal trees he uh he definitely let us know all right uh should we put these like at the base of them like where they start so like like here and then this pine tree or i'm gonna grab this one so it's a little bit of variation this one can go right here uh is this yeah that's the start of that one all right tree 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 we need another one of these guys right here nice beautiful we need uh probably even another one right over here we will grab this guy because i don't want them to all be the same tree we'll put that uh we'll put it right i know this says pine tree but i think we have enough pine trees and there's gonna be another one over here as well so let me grab this put it right over here and there is our trees already done for this first area okay so if we get rid of our little our thing right here boom look your boy has filled out the area with trees it's looking bare but we're getting there <laughs> all right it's looking like over here some leaderboards so we got this little log it's just two cylinders so just really really simple stuff let me go ahead bring this uh that should be a good height for it and we're gonna grab this get one more of these guys and put it right over here across from it boom perfect and i'm gonna go ahead and make these leaderboards and then i'll just copy and paste it around to these four spots all right guys leaderboards are done they're not gonna be placed exactly on the money with the drawing because uh you know it's uh it's a drawing so like hey this is the rough idea and they're not meant to go exactly on top so up next we definitely need some rocks and some grass all right guys we got the rocks placed the trees placed and uh this little guy right here so we're gonna go ahead delete this here is how our map is looking so far. It's coming along pretty good, I'd have to say. Got our grass placed. It's looking nice. Now, it might be floating just a little bit, so I'm going to grab that and move it down a nice little count. One more. Boom. Now we have no grass floating. We could probably group up all the rocks and move down them down a hair too, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. Up next, we're going to do the buildings for the spawn. And I need to think of how I'm going to do the barriers. Uh, I don't want to go for that really soft look. So, yeah, it, we'll, we'll see. All right, guys, I started grinding out. Uh, basically, I made one house and then just changed the rooftop colors because I hate making buildings. And, you know, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> I've already been working for quite a few hours, but it's all good. Check it out. We did this. And then for the cabins, I used the same building, but replaced the walls with cylinders. OK, bunch of cylinders. And uh, I think they came out pretty good. The cabins definitely look dope. I love them. And the houses don't look too, too bad. I'll probably, I don't know. I might do something with those still. Well, we have to see. But check it out. Then boom, here's the map. Uh, I think I'm going to do for the walls. I'm going to do a uh, like parts for the desert. So like gradiented, starting dark, going light. And then maybe a green strip on top. That will be desert. For this, it'll be spiky lava rocks like what he has drawn over here. And those will continue on the inside as well. So there's little gaps to meet the little like spawn map but i think for the most part 
the uh, the mo map's gonna be filled in with the individual areas borders if that makes sense so up next i'm gonna finish filling up this one since we used the same thing and then i will probably need to hop back into blender to wait check this out guys pine tree pine tree control c control v these we can use for the snow area guys okay watch uh where'd that other one go oh god is it this guy i think it's this guy is this another house oh my god all right, so I got these pine trees. I'm gonna use these for the snow area and then I'll just duplicate the tops and make them snowy. All right, guys, we've made a pretty great amount of progress, actually. I, I don't remember the last time I checked in, to be fair, but here's this. We're going to up next, I think, get the little fences that we need and this big ice pond. So I got to do that in Blender because it's a lot of curves and it'll be a lot of parts if I do it in Roblox. So I'm gonna do that. I'll get the ice done place all the picket fences where those go and then i think we're gonna move on to the desert all right guys i did make the pond and just a quick little update i'm working on the little picket fences now so i think i'm gonna do like three of these guys and then the little bar in the middle and i think that should be a okay for us a little tip uh what can go right into here and i'm gonna just line these up perfectly with this line right here and then this one with this line right here and that's a good way to tell if they're a good thickness apart and then the map is right here guys boom it's looking really really good it's coming along quick and i will be selling this map as well so if you do like it enough and you want to buy it i don't know how much it's going to cost if i'm fully done with it but you know i'll try to add that into the video somewhere all right guys so i made these two little rocks for the desert area and i've got them placed around and then i made a little bit of a wall which uh, is just like five parts each one going up in the color scale just a little bit and i think this will be my border and everything like that for the desert area okay it doesn't really match too too well but i'm hoping to have a lot of contrast between the zones and i'm hoping with this one having the spiky rock this one having this and then this matching the spawn everything should go together at the end of the day so i uh, up next i gotta make cactuses whatever these things are probably some rocks and then that weird rib cage thing and uh there's even a car over here uh i yeah i i don't know yet i really don't know yet we'll see all right guys we've made a bit of progress the spawn is pretty much done we have to add portals and everything like that we got these little pads done this guy is actually it needs to be like scaled in like one one more time all right and probably this side too yep there we go make them nice and matchy perfect this is done i don't remember where we checked in last time so i'm just going to kind of go over everything here's the spawn here is the desert area. That's what we got to finish next. Here is the uh, the winter area or the ice, whatever you want to call it. Got some nice cabins. Looks like I need to fix just a little bit of stuff. But for the most part, we are looking pretty good. Here's the little ice pit, which probably could be a little bit darker, maybe like this. Just really pop it out. Um, And then here's like the lava zone, really spiky, cursed image. And, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do <laughs> a little bit of stuff. All right, guys, so we're back, and, uh, here's the map. Yep, pretty, uh, pretty depressing. Let me tell you what happened, okay? So, I went to open up another studio file to my asset pack, and, you know, be able to take some stuff from there to put into the map, and then Roblox was all like, hey, we need to update. Let's quit all of your studios. So that happened, and... It didn't autosave. I checked my autosave file on my computer. There's nothing for this map. There's, uh, it, it didn't autosave to, uh, Roblox in the version histories. So, it, I'm, I'm gonna have to just retry this another day, and it'll probably turn out a lot better. But, uh, for now, this is what not to do. Uh, this is why I always say turn on Team Create right when you start a build and then someone in my comments was like oh that doesn't do anything it saves either way and i trusted you and it doesn't save either way guys so i, I guess this is don't do this fusion he's in the call hey fusion um hello hello uh, the map was very close to complete was it not yes it guys, was the most beautiful map i've ever seen no we had a funeral for it and everything dude, it was very depressing oh it was just sad all right guys um but that's that's Oh, that's tough. All right, guys, but that is going to wrap up this one. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, please like the video. This is, this is horrible. That was two days of my life. Oh, later.